Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for June. I almost said July. July's haul and declutter, and I actually am decluttering way more than I purchased this month, which is always good. So if you guys want to see a little haul and then a declutter, then just keep watching. First thing is an item that was sent to me from my wonderful friend, Sarah. She is the sweetest. I've talked about her before because she's just like the sweetest and she sends me random makeup for no reason. So she had uh, seen that I was wanting some of these Dose of Colors Black Party shadows and one arrived at my house one day. <laughs> so I opened the package and there was a Dose of Colors Black Party shadow in the shade Teal Me More. It has, you know, nice soft touch packaging. The single shadow is very cute. It is, uh, 0 0.07 ounces but then the shadow I just want to rub it on my face it's so beautiful this is beautiful I haven't worn this on my eyes yet but I've swatched it like a thousand times I don't know if you'll be able to tell but on my finger I can see a slight purple shift on the out side of it maybe in like i think it's in like low lighting oh my goodness it feels super i don't like saying buttery but i don't know what else to say oh it's so beautiful it's so beautiful you can kind of see it there in the outer part of the finger there's like a purple shift oh so thank you so much syrah you're too sweet. First, I had a $5 Nordstrom note, and they were running a promo where you got a, a thing that I'm going to talk about. So I actually spent 30 cents on these. They were $5, but these are the, well, these are the Patchology face wipes, I think. They're called Clean AF. On the go, refreshing facial cleansing wipes. And I like these because they're the kind that feel like they're going to soap up. And they feel a little bubbly, but you don't have to rinse your face. They don't leave bubble residue on your face. And I love those types of wipes. Uh, I've only used a few so far. I mean, there's only like 15 in here. I've only used a few so far, uh, but they feel really nice. They don't leave a residue or anything on my face. I liked those. But I bought those because there was a promo for a free Chanel product with any purchase. And I've never tried anything from Chanel. And I know Chanel is not cruelty free. But, like, I'm having moments of weakness, um, and I'm ashamed of it, but I wanted to try it. So it is the, sh I'm going to butcher all of this. I don't speak French, like, at all. I barely speak English. Sublimage, whatever. I'm going to put it on the screen. I don't even know. But it said, in the promo code, it's like a $68 value, and I was like, oh, wow, that's a really nice sample. And then I got the package and it was this little box and I thought, well, that's, I must have misread it or something. That's weird. The full size of this is something like $680. What? What? Also... I don't know if that's just this size because it's smaller or what, but the little, like, you know, throw it away after this part date on it says one month. Is that what it says on the full size one? But when I realized how much the full size of it was, I was just completely flabbergasted. I, I don't even know what to say. That's just stupid. So I'm going to use it and see if my skin just turns, I would hope, to gold. Like I want gold face. It doesn't say that there's gold in here. But if it costs that much, it's got to do something amazing. And I'm very, very curious to see what I need to remember to take a before picture. Because I never remember to do that. But I just, I thought, <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought La Mer was expensive. <laughs> 
by Too Faced things from Formula 10.0.6. They were buy one get one half off at Ulta, and I really do like their masks and uh, some of the skincare things that I've tried from them. Well, I've only tried like one skincare thing that wasn't a mask, but this is the Draw It All Out Skin Detoxifying Peel Mask with Charcoal and Plum, and we know I love a charcoal peel off mask. These are my favorite. Ooh, it smells good. It does smell like plum. And then the Total Takeaway Skin Purifying Bubble Mask with Rasul clay and tea I don't know. but I thought this was interesting because it's a pump bubble mask. it is like one of those bubble like the elf bubbling one and I think it's is it Peter Thomas Roth or Ole Hendrickson I always get those two mixed up for some reason they have like a pump bubble mask and anyway there's a bu there's several of them but it says yeah it says it's gonna bubble so you let it bubble for two to five minutes and then you rinse it off. So this is the kind that makes your skin feel like it's being tickled, which always makes me just want to itch my face because your skin feels like it's being tickled. But it's just that the application of this was interesting. I don't know. So we'll try that. The last thing is the Face Candy Atlantis palette. If you guys follow Tarte on Instagram, Tarte Cosmetics, on April Fool's Day, they posted a beautiful picture of a blue-green, super cool toned palette. Like, it was all blues and all greens and they named it like Icy Betch or something and I thought well that's a stupid name but oh my gosh that palette is amazing first of all it's all blues and all greens second for Tarte because Tarte doesn't do a ton of intense vibrant colors and then I realized that it was April Fool's Day because like two seconds later the, the, the picture was oh that was just a joke and people were upset they were kind of flooding the comments of Tarte's Instagram, like, we want that palette, you should make that palette, <laughs> we want it, and uh, they didn't. The Face Candy has our back. Face Candy is available on the Shop Hush website or the Hush app, I talk about them all the time. At this point, I should be sponsored by them, but I'm not, I just love the app. And I really enjoy the palettes that I've purchased from the app. So they released the Atlantis palette, and they always show a preview of like the cover, and then they say, coming soon and everyone knew they the comments were like please be the tart palette yes it's the tart palette and oh my gosh it is <gasps> i just got chills this makes me so happy so happy i haven't worn this yet i have swatched it and i posted swatch pictures on my instagram already but i haven't worn this yet i'm a Super excited. This color right here, Tsunami, there's a ton of pink and blue and green micro glitter in here and this Poseidon shade and this uh, Vanished shade. Oh no! Okay, that's what I get for being dramatic because I just dropped this. so excited to use this palette. Thank you Face Candy for listening to what the people want. It does have really nice packaging too. It's a soft touch and the Atlantis is slightly raised. It's really pretty packaging. I love the size of these palettes. I, I really enjoy Face Candy and Bad Habits. So now we're into stuff that I'm decluttering. I was in a mood this month. I am tossing several things that are super old and then so I have some lip products that are like we're gonna start with the stuff that I'm throwing away. This isn't good, it's expired, it smells bad, or it has defective packaging, and it's just not worth the hassle. We'll start with the defective packaging. First, these two things from uh, the Jessie's Girl, these are the glow sticks. These are super interesting, transforming toppers. All of the rest, the packaging is fine. On these, it leaks, uh, no matter, even if they're standing up or laying down. <laughs> So, um, unfortunately, these were my two favorites, but uh, I'm just going, they're very messy and they're sticky, I, I don't like it. This is Red Dawn and a Pandora. The next things are two eyeliners from Stila. This is Sequins and Flash, and these are beautiful. This one is like an, this one is sort of an olive green, and this one is black. They both are really beautiful colors. I cannot even tell you 
how long I've owned these. Like years. Years. I think it's time to pass these on. The, the little label says nine months. I also never use liquid eyeliner, so I don't want to give these to someone, especially because I know that they're super old. And I, I literally have had these for years. So. I have one eyeliner from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Velvet Glide on Pencil and Cult. This is a beautiful dark green, a matte dark green color. This one is just starting to dry out. It's completely separated from the barrel. So whenever I use it, it, it actually like pushes down in here and I, and I can't use it. So you gotta go. This is the Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain in Cranberry Crush. I love this color, but this one smells weird. Yeah, this one does not smell good at all. So these are super affordable. At some point I might repurchase this color. I just really don't need any more lip. I have two NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. These are starting to get very patchy and dry feeling, so it's time to go. This is Milan and Addis Ababa. Addis Addis Ababa. I'm probably saying that wrong too because I suck at life. <gasps> My beautiful Kathleen Lights Miami Fever Ofra Lippy. This is so dry. I actually think the I don't know what happened. It looks, it's, trust me when I say that it's dry. It looks like it's swatching. It's really not. I had to, um, I love this color. If this color is still available, I would repurchase it. But it's just, the formula is not, the texture has changed significantly, so, sorry. Now I have the box of things that I am decluttering. There's nothing wrong with these. These are a lot of family and friends. There are quite a few lip products. First, this Too Faced Melted uh, Melted Melon Longwear Lipstick. I think this was my first My Daughter Picks My Makeup <laughs> challenge. And this color just looks wretched on me. It is not a color I can pull off, so I don't know why I kept it around for so long. It's, it's time to go. The Urban Decay Lipstick in Anarchy. I just have so many pinks, and this one is just not... It's okay, but I have another very similar Urban Decay, so I'm keeping the other version and I don't even think I've ever worn this I may have swatched it one time before I just swatched it the Maybelline blushing pout lipstick this is just a very it's just too I don't know I just I just don't like how this color that color looks on me it, I feel like it looks weird the NYX high voltage lipstick in flutter kiss flutter kiss I actually really like this color. Um, it's right here. I just have a thing where I don't like to have one from a brand, like just one lip product. I know that's really weird, but I just, I just don't like that. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Los Angeles. This is a beautiful color, but I, I never wear this color. And I know I've only ever swatched this, so this is whatever. The Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Pillow Plump Lip Gloss in Pinkwell. I wore this one time and it was okay. It wasn't, I didn't think it was that painful. It was definitely tingling, but I just never reached for it. Two of these Butter London Bloody Brilliant Lip Crayons, Primrose Hill Pink and Toff. I really like both of these colors. I really like both of these colors, but again, I just am not reaching for them, so someone else can use them. Then the Butter London Ladybird Mon oh my Moisture Matte Lipstick. I love the color Ladybird. <sighs> I love this color. It's not what I'm wearing today, but I love this color. Again, I just don't reach for it. I, I don't know. I just I have other oranges that I like better than this lipstick, even though I do like this. I like others better. The L'Oreal Infallible Paints Army Camo Duo. I've don't, I've never used this. It can go. The Butter London. I love Butter London. I'm not meaning to get rid of like so many Butter London things, but the Butter London Plush Pastels Eyeshadow Duo. I love these. I have uh, several. I wish that you could buy the empty shadow clutches. I, I need an empty shadow clutch to store them. And then even if I did have an empty shadow clutch, I would still have two extras. So this just kind of is being passed on by 
process of elimination and what I can fit in a future empty shadow clutch. If I could buy one. If someone knows someone in Butter London, like, make that a thing, please. I would buy an empty shadow clutch. I need I have a couple eye things. The Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Crux. Another gorgeous color, and I just never use it, so someone else can use that. Well, the L'Oreal Infallible Smoldering Plum. These are the pressed shadows. I was uh, makeup diving in my makeup drawers the other day, and I thought, well, I need to pull some of these out. But I have never used this color. I've swatched it once. And then the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Palette in Smoke. I kept this one when I was doing my palette declutter and I haven't reached for it since. And I know I can find these colors in other palettes. The last three things are face things. The first is from Marc Jacobs, the Spotlight Glow Stick. This is a beautiful highlight. I just hate... I don't hate. I really dislike how you apply it. It looks like a deodorant, which I think is weird. But, like, am I supposed to do this with it? I, I don't... I don't get it. And I don't reach for it because of that. So I'm going to give it to someone else. See if they want to deal with it. The Physician's Formula Butter uh, Blush in Plum Rose. This has... It's a beautiful color. But it's the strangest blush color. I mean, for me, it's, I just don't think it would show up very well. Smells so good though. And then the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the Sweetest Bling. This one is very similar to one of the other ones that I kept. I They're almost identical, so I decided to pass this one on. And that is it. That is everything that I purchased and am decluttering for June. Let me know if you guys bought anything fun in the month of June or if you got rid of anything kind of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any video suggestions or requests, leave those in the comments down below. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.